Hey, how you doing? Anthony Ferrari here of Create Sci-Fi. This week, we're going to do another prop costume build, and we're going to make a cyborg sci-fi eye patch. This is a really simple project, and it looks really cool. It's just some basic uh, EVA foam, some 6 millimeter foam. I embellished it with a little uh, strainer here from the dollar store. But it's the sort of thing where you can do whatever you want, but it's just cutting out a basic shape and then forming it and doing some embellishments. I used the Dremel. I added some little foam pieces. And um, you can really make this your own. And it's the sort of thing that if you've never done this kind of work before, it's a really great starter project. Um, and if you are familiar with this kind of work, maybe you never thought about doing a sci-fi cyborg eye patch. I don't know why, but you know, you should consider it. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at um, how I did this. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get some foil and some duct tape and make a tin foil hat. <laughs> I just basically wanna get the shape of my head correct here, so I'll use some duct tape. And then I sort of just map out where the eye patch is gonna go. I just do this all roughly. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna transfer this to some craft paper just so I can clean it up. But now I know the dimensions, how it's gonna fit, how it's gonna fall on my face. So I trace this out carefully. And now this I just cut with some scissors and um, just creating a basic pattern here. Testing it out because Sometimes weird things happen. This is just some six millimeter of craft foam. Now I just simply transfer my pattern onto the foam. And the edges I cut out with a ruler and then for this curve I freehand it. And again, test for it. Now I'm pretty confident this is gonna work. So I prepare, this is a little screen strainer thing that I got from the dollar store. I use these on my goggles. Now this piece of foam I'm using because it has this texture. So I just wanna add a little value to this piece. I roughly uh, map out the way I want it to fit onto this eye patch. It's a little cyborg meets Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> but that looks good. All right, so now I'm just going to uh, bevel the edges to just make it look a little more like it's um, a, a made object for this eye patch. And I just want to refine those edges after I dremel it with a simple little sanding stick. That looks good. Now I hot glue uh, this strainer into place, taking care not to burn my finger again. <laughs> and now I'm going to just super glue this down. So I just make a little uh, mark with some Sharpie. So when I go to super glue, I like to use this um, kicker so that instantly sets and I want to make sure that my aim is good. Now I have these little pieces of foam I got from the dollar store, some sort of craft project foam, and I'm just going to make some embellishments. I cut out some shapes and this is just basically eyeballing it based on the way that my piece is falling together and that looks good. So now I'm going to cut out a tab that I'm going to put on the back and this is where I'm going to add my Velcro. All right, so here is the basic structure of the eye patch. That looks good. So now I'm just going to heat seal it with my heat gun. This gets rid of all the fuzzies and uh, helps the phone to accept paint better. Now I just add a little mask on the screen because that's metal and the rest is foam. And I'm going to use some Plasti Dip to put the base coat and to seal that. All right, so this is what it looks like with the base coat. I'm very happy with that. Now I'm gonna add the Velcro in these little rhinestones that I got at the dollar store. The Velcro application, pretty straightforward. I just use some super glue because I always overbuild. <laughs> I wanna make sure it doesn't move. And now I'm just adding these little rhinestones that I sanded down just to add a little touch of detail. Hopefully they'll catch the light. People might think they're LEDs. All right, so now my base coat is going to be a silver. I just put a little bit of paint on the brush it's not a dry brush, it's like a wet dry brush. And I'm just going to base out the whole piece with this to give it a silver look. And check it out. And I found it's been helpful to look at what it looks like through the camera lens. So that looks good. Now I'm just gonna add some blue metallic just to make these details uh, pop. And that's just a light brush again. I just dry it off. Now I'm gonna add some gold. Same thing, just a very light brush, 
not a dry brush, just a light brush. Look in the camera again, looks good. Put that little ring around there. So now I'm just gonna take some silver rub and buff and just make the high points pop a little. And that's always nice when the light hits it, it gives it a nice reflection. And now I'm just going to hit it with a clear coat to seal that all in before I begin the weathering process. All right, so now I just take some acrylic black and some brown. And for this, um, in the crevices, I'm going to add some straight brown just because I want it to look rusted. And then I add a bunch of water and black and I just slather it on there, getting it in all the cracks and crevices. And what I do next is I'm just gonna pat this off, rub it off with a paper towel. And I'm adding some little like drip splashes here. And yeah, that looks good. And here's the final piece, a sci-fi cyborg eye patch. All right, that was really simple, but sometimes less is more. Just a simple pattern piece and you get this cool sci-fi cyborg eye patch. Well, I guess the only thing left to do now is to fire it up. <laughs> I may have made this for myself. All right, so firing it up. Let's see. Oh, mind control. Accessing interface. Oh, nice. Laser blast. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. Hypno beam. Mm. <laughs> well, as always, I hope you found this build helpful, inspiring. Please leave a comment. I love to read the comments. Share, subscribe. Subscribe really helps me. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe! <laughs>